Hi guys! We will be doing another Medieval Wars cello tutorial. This time we're going to focus on measures 89 to 96. This is the beginning of kind of that part that's slowed down again, that ceremony. The tournament is done, the knights have finished jousting, and now they're getting their prizes. Um, it's not too bad most of the time until we get to 95, and we'll discuss that in a second. So at 89, you start on E, on D, go another E, then open D, open G, C, so fourth finger, B, A, another B, and then in 95, you have C E on your C string, which is still third finger. This F right here is F sharp because of the key signature. What you have to do for this one is extended fourth finger. So this F right there, we use extended four. If I were you in your music, I would write extended four right above it so that you know what's coming. I've added a tape right here below my third tape so you can see where that should be on your instrument. You can take a tuner. I would do this with your bow. Make sure your C string is in tune. And then find where F sharp, your tuner might call it a G flat. G flat and F sharp are the same note. Find where it's in tune. What you can do is okay, it won't hurt the instrument at all. Take a pencil and you can draw yourself a little line right there. If, but make sure it's your C string is all the way in tune and then find the spot where this F sharp is in tune. For now, you can draw a line with a pencil. I have extra tapes at school. Um, so for practicing at home, I can cut off a tape for you that you can add to your home cello. Please don't just use any tape. Some of them are really goopy and sticky. Um, I can send you home with a tape that you can add um, if that's going to be helpful for you. For the extended fourth finger, it's about the same distance after your third tape as between the second and third tape. Okay, so it's a pretty big stretch when your third finger's over here. Your pinky is probably good to release so you can kind of roll over your pinky there. And it would definitely support with your third finger. So how it would play 95. You've got your three, extended four. The good news is the next one is open G so you can release and reset for your A. If you have big hands, this isn't so much of a problem. You can just extend and reach for that C, F, G. Let's try that a few times together, okay? We're just doing measure 95. So it's that third finger on your second tape on your C string. Here's your E. Extend that pinky. Press down really hard for your F sharp. Release everything, open G. Let's try that again. Third finger E, extended four for the F sharp, open G. That's the hardest part. Let's see if we can do it a little faster at about one, two, three, one, ready, and. Okay, now let's see if you can do it without looking. One, ready, and. time like that. One, ready, in. Okay. Then, measure 95 is not bad. We've already played open G, and then 95 starts with first finger A on the G string. A, A, third finger B. Before we do anything else, 
Let's clap and count. Remember, your half notes get two beats, your quarter note gets one. Make sure everything fits in the right space. Clap and count from 89 through 96. Here we go. One, two, three. 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 Okay, if that was confusing, if you clapped at a different time than me, go back, rewind, and practice that a couple times. Then when you're ready, you can move forward with the video. Now, we're going to do 89 through 96 pizzicato. Get ready for first finger E on your D string. Here we go. One, two, three, ready, and go. Okay. Add your bow. All right, here we go. One, two, three, ready, and go. time at that slow tempo before we start speeding up. One, two, three, ready, and go. <laughs> Continue a little faster. Same thing, just a little bit faster. Here we go. One, two, one, ready, and. rewind and do that again as many times as you need to. Once you can do it correctly at this tempo, continue on to the next one. Okay. Here is our next tempo. We're almost there for performance tempo. We'll increase speed one more time and we'll be there. Here we go. Make sure you get set nicely. One, Two, one, ready, and. <laughs> Let's do that one more time at this tempo together. One, two, one, ready, go. <laughs> awesome. Pause it if you need to. Back up. Repeat as many times as needed. And when you're ready, when you can play it correctly at that tempo, then you can move on to this final speed. 
We are now at our performance tempo of quarter note equals 104. We're still working on 89 to 96. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Last time. Ready? Set your bow. First finger on D. Here we go. One, two, one. Ready? And. <laughs> Okay, practice that as many times as you need to, and this will help us be all successful in rehearsal. I hope you have a good day and happy practicing.